What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to share your iPhone's internet connection to your computer using a USB cable. This process is also known as USB tethering and it allows you to share your iPhone's mobile data with your PC. The first step in sharing your iPhone's internet connection to your PC is to ensure you have iTunes installed on your computer. iTunes is necessary because it helps your computer recognize your iPhone and enables the connection for USB tethering. If you don't have iTunes installed already, you can download it from the Microsoft Store. Open the Microsoft Store on your PC, go to the search bar, type iTunes and hit enter. You should see the iTunes app appear in the results. Click on the install button. Once iTunes is installed, it's a good idea to open it manually to ensure it's running. Search for iTunes in your start menu and press enter. Now that iTunes is up and running, connect your iPhone to your PC using your USB port. Once connected, your iPhone may prompt you to trust this computer if it's your first time connecting. Make sure to authorize the connection by tapping trust. Enter your passcode if prompted. This step gives your computer permission to access your iPhone. Next, to enable the internet sharing feature, go to your iPhone settings app. Scroll down and tap on personal hotspot. In this section, you see two important options. Allow others to join and maximize compatibility. Make sure both options are toggled on. Allow others to join enables the internet sharing feature, while maximize compatibility ensures that the connection works smoothly with your PC. Once these settings are activated, your computer should automatically connect to your iPhone's mobile data network. Now, if everything is set up correctly, your PC will start using your iPhone's internet connection, and you should be able to browse the web or use any online applications on your computer as long as your iPhone has mobile data available. It's important to note that USB tethering will use your iPhone cellular data, so make sure you have enough data in your plan to avoid unexpected charges. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.